going on, my friends? Happy Tuesday. We are going to jump right into a shoulders and triceps. This lovely area that us ladies always like to wave in the wind. And we're just going to get right to it. So this is going to require your body, some dumbbells, and I'm trying to think what else. We can always just keep it at that. We'll do, uh, you know, I always make these, these up on the fly. So I think what we're going to do is do a little bit of resistance band as well. So for any of you guys that will be doing this workout, please let me know how you like the workouts. And if you would like to request any particular muscle group combinations, please feel free to do so. Okay, so we are going to start with a dynamic stretch, meaning a moving stretch, dropping our hips, and squeezing the glutes at the top, keeping the core tight. You know, I am a big believer in focusing on core throughout the entire routine. So even if you're not directly working your abdominals, you're always working your core with every movement that we do, okay? So again, for those of you just popping on, we are going to do shoulders and triceps with dumbbells and a resistance band. Just to keep it easy, drop some love in the comments. And I'm feeling a little tight. If you guys are feeling tight, you do whatever you got to do to get loosened up. So I'm going to just use some light dumbbells. Get my shoulders loosened up. My neck feels a little bit tight. I don't know why. Some days are just tighter than others. Okay, so just, just do what you need to do. Again, very light with the weights. I'm doing a little deadlift action, just getting the blood pumping. Okay, so the first circuit we are going to do, we are doing dumbbell shoulder presses first with palms facing forward. Then we're going to switch it and we're doing alternating palms in with the dumbbells. The last thing we're going to do is a push-up into a jumping jack. Push-up, jumping jack. And we're doing tricep push-ups. So as we lower, hands will be right under our chest. Okay, so you are going to do one tricep push-up, jumping jack. Tricep push-up. You can even drop down to your knees if you would like to do that for a modification. That is completely fine. Okay, so I know people ask me all the time just to know what weights they should be using. So I am using 20s. I might go up, I might not. I'm actually gonna get my timer started here. So we can make sure we're not going crazy with the time. Make sure to get some water. You wanna have everything ready to go. And here we go. We're gonna go from 12 to 15. Remember, sometimes you have to adjust the weight as you go. Four. Five, keeping that core tight the entire time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and I'm going to try to keep the same weight if I can. Two, three, four, five. Six, music needs to start. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. It's okay to use your legs a little bit towards the end for the struggle reps. Okay, now 30 seconds, push up, jumping jack. Hit it. Hands right under your chest. I'm dropping down. Because you want to keep that jumping jack going. I'll show you from the side. So hands right into your chest. Jumping jack. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. I'm going to do a 30 second in betweener just because I feel like. I need to get my heart rate cranking today. Not that this is gonna get it cranking, but I don't know, yesterday was just not a good workout. 
I wasn't moving very much. I wasn't lifting very much. It was just, I was dragging. So I'm going to keep moving. You can go as fast as you want with this, as high as you want my knees, or just kind of go medium pace like I'm doing. But we're going to go five seconds more. Go right into the shoulder press. Okay. Woo! Our shoulders are burning already. Let's go. Two, three, four, six, eight, nine, two more. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna give it like five seconds before I go on to my next one. Alternating, palms in. I'm gonna try to start with the heavy weight. Drop down if I need to. Four, five, and a drop. Woo. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jackie's in the house. 
I'm trying, girl. It's a little bit late in the day. Presley's dad came to pick her up, and the last thing I wanted to do was work out. But that's why we're here right now. Because when you don't want to do it, that's usually when you need to do it. Can I get an amen to that? All right. As I'm buying time, just so the burn fades just a bit. Okay, I'm actually going to get my band ready to go. I'm going to use one of these looped bands. You can always use one with the handles. It's completely fine. And remember, if you want to increase the level of difficulty, you can loop that band around a few times, or you can scoot your body forward a little bit to give yourself a little bit more resistance, and then the opposite if you're trying to modify. Okay, so I'm going to use, and ideally you're going to use the same weight for your laterals, palms down, laterals, palms forward, and then we're going to go to the band, band, and then jumping jacks is our last thing. You want to ideally use the same pair, set of dumbbells for everything, okay? I'm going to have to drop down, friends, but I'm going to give it, my go. I'm going to give it a go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Notice that I don't come to the front, I come to the side. So your shoulders don't end up getting rounded forward like so. You want to keep everything back. Keep your back as healthy as possible. Core tight the whole time. It's okay if you have a slight bend in your elbows. Even if the last few need to be down here, that's okay. Slow and control. So you don't want to be just sloppy with it, but if you're engaging properly and your movement is half as much, that's okay. That's okay. Drop those weights. We're going straight down to the press downs. And I like to just rotate my wrist out a bit, not that you need to. I prefer this way because I feel it a little bit more. Seven. Remember, scoot back if you need a little bit more tension. Ten. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. To go overhead. Straight out. Core locked. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Three more. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Grab those tens or whatever you're using. 30 second jumping jacks, whatever position you want. Remember, core tight the whole time. And you don't need to do a full press. Just make sure you keep that momentum up. If you are a lady that doesn't like to jump, you still want to keep the taps going at a fast pace. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, no more than 10 second break. Then we're gonna go right into those laterals. Ready, hit, one, two, three, six, halfway there, pull it up. Eight, nine, Two more, strong. Okay, five second break. Ready, go. Two, three, four, six, pull it up, seven, eight, nine, two more, pull it up. One, drop it now. Right, those band press downs, if you're at the gym, use your cable or your pulley, whatever you have access to. Just keep it moving. You don't need to lollygag around. You don't need to take a lot of time. That's why we double up on the muscle groups, because you can go from one to the other. You never want to allow your 
your heart rate to get back down to baseline when you're working out. I don't care if you're doing just resistance, if you're doing extreme high intensity, if you're doing, you know, obviously steady state, that's not a thing, but keep it up all the way. Give me three more. Two. One. I really just made that up. I have no clue how many I just did. And that's why you just have to listen to your body. Go until it burns. Go until it burns. Keep that core tight. Power up. Fast feet, fast feet. Or just tap it out. If you prefer this way, you can. I just feel like it's awkward. I feel like I might hit myself in the face with the weight. That would not be good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You guys are probably like, when are the shoes coming off? Right now. Right now, I just, I can't hang. I can't hang for the whole workout. It's just not being true to me. Okay? I gotta be true to myself. I gotta keep it real with all y'all. I'm a, I'm just a lady that likes to be barefoot. What can I say? Got a little bit of a water cramp there. Woo! Woo! Those things hurt. All right. Here we go. Right into it. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Nice and strong. Pull it up. Last one. Five seconds at most. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eleven, and twelve. All right. Two, elbows locked in. Five, six, seven. Fourteen, fifteen. Okay, right to the overheads. Hit it. Now if you get to fifteen, and you're like, no, 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 that's not enough. I haven't even started feeling the burn. Keep going until you do. It's the same in reverse. If you get to number six, and you're like, that's all I got, and that's all you got. And again, half the time, that's why I don't count. Like, you know, my clients, it's like the running joke. They're like, you're not even counting. I'm like, I know, but I'm looking at your face and I can see that you can keep going, so you're gonna keep going. You know, it's, it's not, the number doesn't matter. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, if you're trying to power lift and get your, your strength up and you're training for the tough man or, or whatever the hell it is, power lifting competition, yeah, you're going to do very few reps, high weight. And we're trying to burn and sculpt, like most of us, more reps. But a matter of 13 reps versus 15, it's not that crucial. It's not that crucial, so don't worry about it. You worry about what your body is telling you in that particular moment, okay? So I have so many people that get down there like, the other time I did this workout, I could do like 16 reps, and I was only able to do like 14. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So many variables, so many reasons, and so many times, it doesn't make sense at all. You could be like extremely well rested. You could be well hydrated. You've been eating on point, and that's the day that you have no energy at all. It makes no sense. That's life. Not everything in life makes sense, friends. I'm sure you figured that out by now. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do. You can do this on a stability ball if you want. You can do this on a bench. You can do it on the floor. Just depends. I'm gonna show you on the, I'm gonna show you on the ball because 
The reason you want to use a stability ball is because you're going to get your glutes, you're going to get your core way more than if you're doing it on a bench or on the floor. Okay? So, and I didn't, I didn't even plan that rhyme, but there you go. Okay, I'm going to use 35 pounders. We'll see how this goes. And what we're going to do is close with our elbows and hands, palms facing in. This is for your triceps, okay? So on our, on our back, tricep presses first for 12-ish. Then we're going to alternate. Same movement for 12 is the goal. Now, I don't know if I can stick with the same weight. We're going to see what we can do. Then the last thing that you're going to do is... Well, we're going to do two more things. You know, I like the, the superset queen. So you're going to be in this position, and we are going to do knee to elbow crunches, 15, 15 on the other side. Then we're going to go on to mountain climbers. But the goal of doing that set is not to drop to your knees at all. No rest, totally fatiguing the shoulders, and... Your triceps are already going to be fatigued, so that's what we do. That's what we're doing. All right. It's always hard to get get in position so you guys can see my whole body here on the ball. All right. Hold up. Booty up. Hopefully you can see me. Yep. Okay. Together, same time. Elbows in. Two. Three. Six, eight, two more. Okay, we're alternating. Two, three, four, five. Woo! Seven. Six, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The next round with my punches, I'm gonna have to go down because I don't like to have to punch low. I wanna be able to punch it right there at chest level. So, all right, other side, we don't need the lollygag. Hit it, one, rotate it at the top. Five, six, seven, eight, four locked, two more. Blow that ear out as you push it up. Okay, right into the upright rows. One, two, elbow high, three, four, five, six, eight, Nine, ten, give it a good squeeze at the top. Last one. Okay, now tricep, same leg up, core locked. The higher you hit that leg, the better. Two. Five. Seven. Eight. 11, last one. All right, I gotta punch with the same weight for this round. Then the next round, I'm going down. Nice and strong, even if you can't punch it, just hold it. Or punch it low. I know it's burning. Keep it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, the most worst burn of the whole thing. Oh, thank y'all for watching. Okay. So now, I need to put some different music on. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I tried. I tried. I gotta switch it up. I think I have there we go. This song always gets me roll. real high. Right? Alright, y'all. Let's hit it. Right hand. Go. Three. Two more. Power it up. Okay, right in those upright rows. Don't waste time. Elbow high. Pause at the top for a split second. Six. Eight. Two more. Okay, now those kickbacks. Leg up, eyes on the same spot on the ground. Elbow locked in. Right in those upright rows. 
One. Squeeze at the top. Two. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. Nine. Give me three more. Three. Two. And one. All right. Grab that heavier dumbbell. Meaning ten. Same leg up. Now, if you can't keep your leg up, just your toes on the ground. That's a modification, okay? Just straight up. Three. Four. Five. Or you can hold on to something, too. Seven. Eight, like this. Nine. Ten. Give me two more. And one. All right. Drop that weight if you need to. And go. Push that hip out. Faster pace. The faster you work, the more burn you're going to feel, the more sculpting potential. Burning and sculpting, baby. Keep it moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Eight. 
two more. Woo! Okay. There it is. All right. Kick back, leg up. Core tight.
exercise will pull on your neck, okay? So it's not going to feel great. Let me go. Two, three, four, five, seven, ten, five more, four, let's barely pull it up, two, one, woo! Okay, drop it down, hit it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one.